guys welcome back to my channel today I have my February beauty favorites for you guys and if you can tell by the title it also says and misses and that's just because I have decided that from now on every month I will be doing beauty favorites and beauty misses so things that I've tried that I liked and things that I didn't like and the reason why I wanted to do this was because uh, every month I'm sitting here talking about you good talking to you guys about what I love, you know, rave about it, tell you how much I love it, tell you how it's changed my life and things, but there's also and always been times where I buy things and they just don't work out for me. They're either, um, just don't work for my skin or they don't make a difference in what I'm trying to use it for. So I decided to also talk about those because sometimes I give them away, I throw them away or I return them and I never get to mention them and I get asked, what well, did you use this? And I'm like, yeah, I already did and it was a fail. So that's what I'm going to be doing from now on. So the next um, beauty favorites uh, here on Ford will be beauty favorites and beauty misses. So if you guys enjoy that, give me a thumbs up if you do. Don't forget to subscribe and let's jump in and look at my beauty favorites. Favorite wise that I want to talk about, that I want to talk about for the month, I'm going to start off with a foundation because you guys know I've been on the hunt for new foundations. So the first one I want to talk, the first one, well the only one that I have and want to talk about is the MAC Pro Longwear Foundation. I'm obsessed with this guy. I love this guy. It gives me a super flawless finish to the face. I absolutely love how it looks on my skin and how it lays. It works really nice with my oily skin. It's not slippery and slidey and whatnot. And I think what I like about it most is that it is buildable coverage because I've noticed that whenever I wear one layer, it just looks natural like on my skin. It just looks like my skin but better kind of thing because wear it more on the sheer side. I get so many compliments on like, wow, your skin looks so naturally, like so naturally beautiful. And I feel like it does work for me, especially for what it claims. It's supposed to be a 15 hour wear uh, foundation and I love it for that reason. Um, It lasts all day on my skin. Whenever I'm using this, it's on specific days, like the days that I'm wearing foundation for about 10 hours and it literally stays on my skin just as good as when I first apply it. It's smooth and it looks flawless on my skin and it doesn't seem like it's coming off. So that is the reason why I love this and I feel like this is spot on match to my neck. So I'm not wearing it today but it is my favorite and I wanted to talk about it. If you guys have uh, normal to oily skin or oily skin definitely check this one out items I want to talk about are a couple of concealers. Well, two. The first one I want to talk about is the NYX Got You Covered Waterproof Concealer. And um, I never really saw anything about this. Like, I didn't see it on social media or anything. I kind of just ran um, across it online at Ulta.com. And um, I was surprised. It was like, I, I have never even seen NYX talk about it or anybody else talk about it. So I was like, I need to try it, figure it out for myself. And I love this foundation. It is a very thick consistency. I will say that. Just be careful when you're using it because it can get cakey really easily um you said it really well because if not it will crease very heavily on you um but it is my favorite I like it mine is in the shade medium and um I plan on doing a review on this let me know if you guys want to see a review on this NYX concealer but I think I'm gonna do one just because yeah but it's a favorite definitely check it out I feel like it's a good concealer to hide any darkness under the eye circle especially when it's been like days that I don't get my um, 10 hour beauty sleep then I feel like I need to throw this on concealer I want to talk about is by Mac and this is the Mac Pro Longwear concealer I had tried this concealer like maybe two years ago and I didn't like it I just felt like it was very creasy and very cakey and can I just say that I was completely wrong I decided to repurchase it again and try it out for myself once again just because I had bought in the foundation I was like I really want to try the concealer because I know everybody and their mother has MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and I just felt like I needed to try it again and fell in love with it. I think I just wasn't setting it right which is making it cake and crease under the eye but I love it. It's perfect. It's not heavy under my eye and I think what I like the most too is that it looks very smooth under the eye here and a very long wearing concealer so I love it. I use this on days that once again I have to wear makeup for about 10 hours. I have to keep this on so it's like on all day and what I like is that I can set this with a powder like with a brush and a powder and not have to use the baking method and it will still look flawless. I actually have a favorite bronzer for the month. I was on the hunt for it this past month, like to find a um, good drugstore bronzer because I don't know if you guys know, but I have more on the high end kind of bronzers. I have one by The Balm, one by MAC. 
one by Benefit. Able to find one and it is my favorite of the month. I love it. It is the bronzer that I am wearing today and that I've been wearing in my past pictures on Instagram. If you're following me, then you probably know what I'm talking about. If you're not, what are you doing? You need to follow me. LOL. And it is the NYX Matte Bronzer. Mine is in the shade Medium. Absolutely love this. I think it's the perfect bronzer shade. Honestly, like, it's not too orange, but it's not too, like, taupe brown in my opinion because I do like taupey kind of contour shades to contour with but sometimes I feel like they're not the thing for me so this one specifically and what I like is that it's not blotchy or powdery I don't know if you can tell I have it on the temples as well I kind of went heavy handed I've been going very heavy handed with my bronzers also if you guys I'm sure if you guys have been following me for a while then you guys know that I usually layer bronzers like the thing about it is that with this bronzer this is literally the only bronzer I've been using all by itself which is surprising because you guys know I used to layer bronzers over bronzers over bronzers because that's just how I roll but this is the only bronzer I've been using on its own for the past month so it is definitely a favorite go check them out they had three other shades I believe so yeah, one was a little too orangey, and one actually looked like it would have been a good contour shade, but I was looking more for a bronzer shade, so, so I grabbed this one. The thing I want to talk about is kind of random, but I wanted to talk to you guys about it because I don't know if I'm the only one that goes through this, but I feel like I'm probably not. I hope I'm not, but um, I'm wearing a liquid lipstick right now. I'm wearing one from ColourPop, and it's in the shade Limbo. Yes, it's in the shade Limbo. Love that color, but... um favorite brown color ever for me if you guys have if you guys are in the medium to dan to tan maybe kind of light dark kind of color then limbo would be a great brown color for you i'm gonna talk about this elf product this is a elf lip i don't know the specific name but this is like a lipstick eraser so i wanted to show you like using here basically can take like not eraser but this takes off your lipstick especially when it's hard to get off so these are two liquid lipsticks they're by ColourPop and I tried wiping them off with a makeup remover wipe and they would not come off so I wanted to show you guys because I think this is phenomenal I just this is how you can take your lipstick off at night without having to rub like the F off your lips so you just spread this out over the lipstick so Take this cotton pad and then you wipe it off like literally wipe it off gone that's like the stain it's like gone and I love this because usually I'm like tugging at my lips and that's not good for your lips obviously because you're just like hurting them but I love this idea and I like that it has a slanted applicator so you can apply it as if it were like a lipstick or something the only one that has this problem, but I had to show you guys that there is an easier alternative to wiping lipstick off. So, favorite uh, brow pencil for the month. So, I don't know if you guys know, but Anastasia just, well not just, but dropped a new like brow pencil situation. It's called the Brow Definer about a month ago. I don't know exactly. I'm way behind. Like, I'm, And can I just say it is the favorite thing ever from Anastasia hands down slay the brow game again again that girl is just slaying anyways um the brow definer and I, I just love this I was I was kind of um believe this like I was like this is not gonna work like the way the tip is angled and everything but it truly does work I love it because it literally takes me but a minute to fill in my eyebrows not even kidding and it's and usually I'm sitting there in front of my mirror for like 10 minutes trying to fill in my eyebrows because I'm like, okay, I'm going to take my little um, NYX micro brow pencil and kind of shape them and I'm going to take concealer and then, you know, um, very, um, sculpt them out, you know, very precisely and then I go in with powder and pomade and it just became into so many different things that it was taking me a while to fill in my eyebrows. But with this baby, I can literally put on my eyebrows in my sleep. That's how good I think it is. And the best part of and the best part about it is that I feel like it just leaves natural looking eyebrows. Like, honestly. Happier. So this is definitely a favorite. Let me know if you guys want to see a review on this product. That way I can talk more in depth and show you how I fill in my eyebrows with this. But I love it. Love it. My last favorite. I didn't have that many that month. But my last favorite for the month are the ColourPop Ultra Matte Liquid Lipsticks. I don't know if I've talked about these. But they truly are my favorite. I wore Clueless. This one's Clueless. Oh with this shade like it's so beautiful it's like the perfect 
pinky mauve color i love that one and then the one that i am wearing is limbo which is the perfect brown shade like love these but i love them because they dry matte and even though they dry matte and they're ultra matte like they're super duper matte okay um what i like about them is literally they don't peel off and if i go like this they don't start to flake off in the center or peel off or anything. So I love these and I feel like you can't beat them because they're only $6. Let's move on to the misses of the month. <laughs> I want to talk about is the Maybelline um, Setting Perfecting Loose Powder. This guy right here that I did a first impressions on and that I've used in a couple of my tutorials. I absolutely hate this product. Probably doesn't like me either, but I just felt like I used it in so many different ways. I used it like with a setting brush to set my under eye, and it literally would not do anything because, and about after I don't know, maybe three minutes, my under eye was creasing already. So hated it. I tried it with a beauty blender to like bake under the eye, and it literally left a white cast under the eye. So I tried so many different ways to use it, and it's just not my favorite, so yeah, I, I don't like it. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but yeah, definitely a miss. And this mess for the month is uh, the NYX Ombre Blushes. I have two of them. I have one in the shade Mauve Me, and I have one in the shade Code Breaker. Now, the reason that these are misses are for two totally different things. So the reason why I hate Mauve Me um, is because... Like, this has such a strong sheen. Like, can you see that? Like, like, do you see that sheen? And it makes it look like your skin has texture skin, like bumps. And I don't have texture skin. Like, you don't see that right now. So I'm like, this is not the greatest blush ever. So I don't like it for that reason. And you can barely even see it on my skin. So don't like it, that one, for that reason. Oh, okay. It's blotchy. I mean blotchy. There'll be areas where you see it. There'll be areas where you don't. Oh, yeah. it sucks. Mm -hmm. By Dose of Colors, and it is their Hidden Treasures palette. Uh, not a favorite at all. Definitely a miss. Yeah. Wah, wah, wah. Um, yeah, definitely a miss. Um, I actually have a review, a review. We'll have a review on the specific product, so you guys will be able um, to check more in depth, that's going to be my next video, but you guys will be able to see why I don't like it, what didn't work out for me, and I will also have swatches included in everything, um, and talk more in depth, so yeah, but definitely a miss. So, this is this month's beauty favorites and misses, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you guys like the whole idea of beauty favorites and misses. For the months and yeah don't forget to subscribe you can hit that button down below or hit the box right up here and yeah i will see you guys in my next video bye